Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. We had shaped out uh, the body pretty well. And now uh, I want you to come in on the head. We have narrowed this in to the top view here where we had that wedge coming out for the beak. And I want to maintain that. So we have coming out of the neck area up into here. It's sloping up slightly, but it's almost like a direct shot up to these pencil lines that are on the top of the head. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna start marking out this bit, uh, this bit, I'm all right, uh, <laughs> this bird uh, for the beak, and we'll start placing the eye and the cheek is what I call the cheek area. And I will move the camera so you're looking down, you can follow me on that. So bear with me a second and I'll be right with you. Okay, we're back again. And what I wanna do is I wanna establish a, a center line that's gonna go through the beak this way on the horizontal we have the vertical center line right now which is coming right on through and then i also uh, extended this center line on the top of the head down so that we have a center line on edges here that we don't need and we have it a pencil line going straight down that's going, if I got my ruler and I sliced it right down that line, everything's in the same plane. So that's what I'm trying to achieve uh, with that. Okay, now on uh, this portion from the top down, I wanna try to establish a center line for the horizontal line coming through the beak. So what I do is I come down here 11 sixteenths. So from the very top of the head up here, measuring straight down in this position here, as if like you're looking at the bird in profile, from the top down, I go 11 sixteenths. So, I have a spot right here. I put a dot. I have the front of the bird at the beak and put a dot there, which is right on the point. And then what I do is I lay my ruler. Let's see if I can spin this around and hold it better this way. Yes. I have the dot on the beak and the dot right here. And I'm going to draw a straight line right on through here. Okay. Now, what I want to do is on this side, I can't measure down from the top because it's not the same. It's, it's just distorted. So the smartest way to do it is I come back here and I look straight in on the bird and I do a, a just a, a dot. And then what I do is I draw a line back from the center of the beak back here. Now, I come back with a ruler and I check to see if I'm perpendicular to that vertical center line that was going through the head before. And I want to make sure I am squared up. And uh, let's see, I hope I got you in the right spot here. I lay the ruler. right on the crosshairs here and see if I'm making a 90, okay? And then it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna check myself out 
on each quadrant that I have, if I use my ruler, which is a 90 in here, I'm going to lay that, or not lay it, but hold it up to that line and see that I have a 90 all the way around. If I don't, then I'll have to move this line back to agree with this one. So I'm just going to check this out real quick. And that's close enough for government work right there. Okay, so now we have a beak line going through the beak. And we also have a center line for the head coming through. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start building the beak. We're going to locate that. So I put some dimensions on here already that weren't on there before. And if I come up 9 sixteenths from the tip of the beak along that run up here, I'm going to place my ruler at the point and come up 9 sixteenths and put a dot up here. And there's another way of doing it, too. Uh, the, I'm sorry. The 9 sixteenths you could lay just like this, right on top. It would be a, a what we'd call like a wrap dimension. You could just lay it down on there, or a lay-down dimension, and put 9 sixteenths right up top here. Now, in the profile position, where it comes straight back, that... That line we put in, which splits the beak in half and it comes through here, which is this line right here, I'm going to measure back also 9 16 So I'm going to not lay it down, but hold it up like this off the surface as I'm looking in in profile. I come in 9 16 and and I put a dot there. Now, what I want to do is put a little bit of a curve, like a C, right at the 9 sixteenths up here. Then this beak comes forward and then pulls in. So I'm going to start up here off of this C, come down here, not that far maybe an eighth of an inch down I want to curve and then I'm going to come around over this edge that's still there and then come down and swing it onto my 916 dot on this line so now I have this coming over around and down now we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to hold my ruler up here. I'm going to mark this out 9 sixteenths and put a dot right there. Then I'm going to come in on that C, that little C that went this way. I'm going to come out this way, which is almost the same distance right across here. Once I get to that edge, then I arc it around and then down, just like that. So you have this coming off this little C right here, and then it goes forward over to the edge and then comes rolling around and makes like a flat S through here to that 9 sixteenths. So, uh, it's going to look a little distorted on this side, but that's not a problem because we just have a little too much material still in this here area. So we could come back and take that down. Uh, but for now, that's fine. I'm trying to just uh, get the, the, the outline of the beak in there, and then we'll go from there. Now... The other thing we want to locate is 
the bottom of the beak is one quarter of an inch. So from here to here. So, and that is another, what I call like a C. So I'm gonna come out. Well, let me measure down first. I said a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna put a dot below that. So I'm gonna make a C right in here, like so. Then I'm gonna come out I'm going to angle right on up to the point. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to measure from where we stopped at the 9 16 in. I'm actually laying this flat against it. I'm going to draw a C that comes out and back like so. And then I'm gonna come from here and draw it right to the point where this line is here. Okay. So, like I said, this is pretty close to being true. This has too much material, so you could see the distance this is out further, we're gonna bring that back in. But for now, this is fine, what we're doing. The other thing we need to establish too is where the eye's located. So the eye is seven eighths back on the beak line. So here's the beak line. So I'm gonna measure seven eighths back so again, I'm holding the ruler up. I'm not laying it down on there. So I'm lining this up, this inch mark to the tip of the beak, even though I'm not laying it on the surface. I'm measuring back seven eighths. Now I'm gonna draw a perpendicular line to this beak line, okay? So I'm gonna come up like this. And I'm going to come up, and I didn't put a dimension down for that, but I will give you that right now. I'm gonna measure it. Looks like 3 sixteenths up. Okay, so from this point, I'm gonna go up 3 sixteenths. going to draw another parallel line to this beak line right up here. So that'll give me like a crosshair. And at this point, uh, this bird has a four millimeter eye. So I'm just going to freehand in, but you could actually measure this two millimeters to the right, to the left of that crosshair, and then draw that in. And that will give you the location for the eye. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to come in here. And again, if you see that center line of the, of the head and you turn it to the point that you don't see it anymore, this is in profile. So that's what you got to measure. You have to measure from the tip of the beak back seven eighths. Let me give it, get this line back further. Okay, here's your seven eighths. And if, if it were like a lay down dimension, just to show you the difference, it's, it's like a, almost an inch and three eighths. But in reality, we're measuring this way, looking down from it straight in and let's see if I did that correctly. Again, always check yourself. 
that is right on. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a perpendicular line from the beak line on this side. Then I'm gonna measure up 3 sixteenths the line across that's paralleling that line and that gives you a crosshair and I'm going to build a four millimeter diameter eye in there and I'm doing this freehand so it's uh, not that critical at this point but it gives you a location for the eye now the other thing we need to do getting back to the beak here where this came up uh, the beak line actually comes out of here and there's this line isn't the true line of the beak where it splits so what we're going to do is we're going to come off of that line a little bit going up off the line and then bringing it back down just below the line so it has like a little swing to it, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You uh, start out on the line, then you go off, you go up slightly, it's maybe a 30 second, and then down to that point again, okay? So that's what it looks like this way. And that will, accommodate us to where that should be okay now for the cheek area we have from the eye back on that beak line that we had drawn through here we have three quarters back from the eye so Here's the eye location on this line, and I'm going to measure back three quarters. And again, it's not a lay down dimension, and it's right there. So at that point, we have this line coming back. I'm going to draw another perpendicular line coming up and down. And this eye center line here, I'm going to parallel the beak line here and bring that back. Now, the portion of the cheek goes well below here and from the beak line down it goes three eighths so it's a lot of the beak is below this beak line uh, that we have coming back here so this cheek is three eighths down I'm going to come up, measure from that line down three eighths, put a dot. Now, from that dot, I am going to draw a parallel line to the beak line right here. I'm drawing the same thing. And then from the eye down, what we've just completed is almost like a rectangle. So here's what we do. I'm going to come out of this eye. I'm going to spin this down. I'm going to spin this around so that we're having tangent points here and here. Now, I don't want to run along this line too long because what I need to do is get this line to come off of there and head on up 
to what would be the split in the beak here. So there is the cheek line in there, okay? So we'll do the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna check myself out here. Something tells me that I didn't put this eye in the proper location. And I'm going to go back on myself here. If you'll bear with me one second, I will come right back in again. Okay, we're back again. I, uh, in between here, I checked myself out. And I said from the tip of the beak to the eye on this side, as the beak is facing to your left. It is seven eighths. And I came over here and it didn't seem right. So what I did is I checked myself out again and I don't think I was perfectly uh, uh, in profile when I drew this one. So I corrected it. And one way to check yourself out is if you drew the line straight up to the top and then you're coming across the center, excuse me, center line of the beak, you do a line perpendicular to the center line and then drop down on this side and it should connect up with that eye if we did it properly, okay? So it's like looking this way. So if I sliced right on through this line, I'm going through the eye here and I'm going through the eye here. So I just want to make sure that I was correct there. And uh, to alleviate uh, a little bit more, I took a little bit more material out. And if you look, we're not as distorted as we were before on how far out this beak looks. So I took a little bit more material off. I still tried to stay uh, at the same dimensions in the way we did it originally. So I just wanted to uh, correct that and not mislead you. So uh, this is still the same. The eye placement got moved up to the correct one. And then now I'm drawing, this is the eye center line parallel to the beak line here, I'm going to draw that back. And we said from the eye back to the back end of the cheek was three quarters of an inch. So I lay my ruler right on the center line of the eye, come back three quarters of an inch, put a dot there, and then I draw a perpendicular line right through there. And then I said that the bottom from the center line of the beak line down to the bottom of the cheek is three eighths. So I'm going to measure down three eighths from the beak line, which is this one. And I'm going to put a dot down here. And then this joins up with this. And then I'm gonna, this beak line and this line are gonna be per, uh, are gonna be parallel. And this comes down to here like this. So you've created a rectangle, even though it's rolling and everything else, it's, it's a rectangle there. And what I'm gonna do is come in and roll this around and these will be tangent points here and here and then once I get to this point I want to come off of the line then head up to where the split in the beak is here so it'll be like that now I have let me I, I was erasing things here the edge is really up here where it is, and this is the beak line coming down. And we said 
like we did on the other side, we're going to come out here. We're going to come off of the line just about a 30 second of that and then come back. And when we get to the end of the beak, we're going to be slightly below the line. So let me just, and what I need you to do is check to make sure that this arc comes down to the same point this one is so that it looks symmetrical about that center line. So you, you want to get it just so, okay? So that'll be the marking for the head. And what I'm going to do on the next video, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to cut this in. We'll set the eye and we'll relieve the cheek. So these are the markings that we need to do for the next stage. And I want to give this to you in, in increments. Again, I uh, will um, mark this out. This is 9 16 from the tip of the beak back. Once you establish uh, a horizontal line of the, uh, the vertical center line and the horizontal line going through the beak is perpendicular. Uh, they're all perpendicular and they're 90 degrees in between each one of these quadrants. And that establishes us. Then from the, here's our beak line here. We measured back nine sixteenths here. And we also did a, a lay down dimension from the tip of the beak up nine sixteenths and put a dot. And I put a little C right in that top. And then I came forward with that, turned around the corner and rolled it. And then I rolled down to here. Then on the bottom of the beak, I came down a quarter of an inch with a C this way. And then I ran a point straight out to the tip. And I do that on both sides, okay? The other thing we did, we came from the tip of the beak back to the eye. And again, everything is referenced off of this beak line that we had established. Uh, we came back seven eighths, put a dot, and then we ran a perpendicular line to the beak line. And we came up uh, three sixteenths and we put a four millimeter eye at that crosshairs. It's, two millimeters on each side and up and down. That establishes the eye. Now, from the eye, I drew a parallel line to the beak line here. And that came back from the center of the eye to the back of the cheek, three quarters of an inch. And then from there, I drew another perpendicular line, which is going through the beak line. It's perpendicular there, as well as the eye center line. And we measure down uh, three eighths from the beak line down. And I established this one. So we ended up with a rectangle in here. So then what I did is I draw this and have an arc that has a tangent point right here, swings around, tangent point here. And by the time you get up to this eye center line, you want to start swinging that up towards the middle of the beak here. And that establishes you for that. And that's done on both sides the same way. And the only other thing I want to do is come through the eye with this line and bring it forward a little bit. And I'll do the same thing on this side here. This is actually going to be an eye channel. And then it will swing down a little bit like that. So if you could get that in there, that would be great. And then we'll take you on to the next video. So thank you. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm giving you, and you're getting something out of it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate that. That is very helpful for me as well. And uh, if, like I said, if you ever need anything, as far as the blank, the patterns, 
uh, or the kit or anything else I may have. Uh, I've done several different birds and animals and stuff like that. So if you are interested, please give me a call. Uh, I should say, uh, use my email to get a hold of me and then uh, you can give me your telephone number and we can go from there and see if we can take care of any of your needs. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next video.